Alright, this is going into Port of Spain on a Friday morning. The time is five minutes to seven. You think traffic on all Saint Road in Antigua is bad? Or you think traffic on the FDR in New York is bad? Well, this is traffic here in Port going to Port of Spain in Trinidad. Ah, the battery is going bad. But either way, we're going to Port of Spain to go handle some business. But this is what it's looking like on the early morning. These are guys cutting the yard. Uh, Antigua needs some of this. But anyway. So this is what we're looking like early. Friday morning in Trinidad. Going to Port of Spain. Traffic ain't that bad. It eased up for a minute. All right, let's see what's up. It's meant to say so. It took me an hour from the south of Trinidad. That's like about forty miles. So you start from the way in way south, you know, San Fernando, Pinal, and then you get on the highway and you're trying to come to Port of Spain. I left around six o'clock. I really should have took a video coming down the highway. Um, I think it's the Uriah Butler Highway. But either way, this is a nice little video just for little viewers. A lot of different industries, a lot of different things that's happening here. In Trinidad, you know. If you need to send any packages, yes, we got a DHL down here. Yes, and I say we. <laughs> I'm gonna be sooner a bona fide Trinidadian just now. Three more carnivals, and I'll be a bona fide Trinidadian. How about that? All right, here's where the traffic starts to back up. Trinidad is one of the most developed islands in the Caribbean. They have, I mean, what is it that they don't make? What company isn't down here? You know, I mean, you can get a lot of stuff down here is where you get, a lot of the people in the Caribbean, they get car parts from down here. They have Nissan dealers, I and mean, not even just Nissan dealers, they manufacture Nissan cars here in Trinidad. So, you know what I mean? If you're going to register business in Trinidad, you got to come all the way to Port of Spain. So if you live in the south of Trinidad, which is one of the safest places I would say in Trinidad. See here, this is the northern side of Trinidad. Now, I don't know if you guys can see further up into the hills, but up there it would be like Laventil. And a lot of the crime that you're hearing, and that's the impression that I'm under, a lot of the crime, majority of the crime is in these particular areas. So. You know what, I need to try and get across in this traffic. I need to make some, hold on a sec. Ah, here we go. All right, okay. Off of the indicator. So up in these areas here, but this is the main road, a lot of different companies here. Yesterday was my son's birthday, which he's 13. Big man. Anyway, yeah, that's so. Sent him a birthday shout out yesterday, but he didn't answer his phone. But that's alright though. Vimcot. 
VMCOTT, Vehicle Management Company of Trinidad and Tobago. They manage all the different police vehicles, depending on what borough, you know. I'm pretty sure they have other big companies, but that's one of the most noticeable company, vehicle management companies, and um, they repair vehicles for the police department. Like five minutes into the video, so we've been driving for like five minutes. Um, we're in a Suzuki Vatara, sorry, a Suzuki Samurai. My brethren rented me this vehicle. Yeah. Well, these are up in the hills. This is where we're, this is what I was telling you about up in Laventil Hills, and you know, when there was the curfew, this place was. One of the major areas that were done lockdown, just one of, you know. video like about seven minutes anyway because the battery is about to die it's like six minutes 38 seconds into it so I'll probably try and catch another video again for those who don't know you know Trinidad is an industrial island they drill for oil they have oil you know they're into a lot of you know petroleum based type products when you compare the electricity rate in Antigua and Trinidad in Trinidad you get billed every two months now down here I got an electricity bill for about $500 about two months I maybe burn about 12 to 1300 kilowatts you know and for that period time period or for every month I think but in Antigua now you'll get a bill for if I burn the same amount of current in Antigua or wattage in Antigua, it would be about, mm, wow, let's say about 500 EC every month. And 500 EC, average, you know, approximately the, the, the conversion rate is 2 to 1. You know what I'm saying? 2 to 1. The US conversion rate is uh, average 6. To one six point something but we're gonna six to one right now anyway we are actually like eight minutes so we're not actually being you know one of this I don't know I think the time limit on YouTube might be um, maybe nine or ten minutes but either way but we're not gonna make it too long so last video you see what's up the traffic it is the traffic behind of me traffic behind me and in front of me and the new people and stuff like that all right we out of here blessed love